And then for the east side of the chapel, surrounding the ark, there were um, eight windows. And we decided to do as a theme for those windows uh, the six days of creation. And the center two windows uh, flanked the ark and had as their theme Shabbat. I'll start with the one on the far right hand side, which represents the first day of creation. What you see in this window is a pomegranate, but a fractured pomegranate. It's all fractured and broken up because it's the broken vessel that was shattered at the beginning of creation and whose parts are in all of us. And then flowing out of this vessel is the tohu bavohu, the raw material of creation, the letters that will make up the words that will write the Torah. Day two of the creation windows is all about water because it was on day two that God divided the waters above from the waters below so that the dry land could emerge. And what we depict in our windows are all the different phases of water. On the upper parts we show clouds, which is the gaseous form of water, floating in the sky, created by multiple level sandblast etchings on flash glass. At the lower part of the composition, we show water molecules floating in a liquid form of water. And in between, representing the dry land that emerges, we use actual quartz crystals that are built into the structure of the window and that stand out from the window as three-dimensional objects on the surface of the window. And they have such a powerful effect, it's irresistible. Anyone who goes close to this window can't resist the temptation to touch one of these beautiful quartz crystals that protrudes from its surface. On the third day of creation, God brings into the universe seed-bearing plants. And so what we've represented in our design are just flowers, flowers of all form and all colors, just the beauty of flowers and flower petals. So God created seed-bearing plants on the third day of creation and brought life into the universe for the first time. On the fourth day of creation, God sets everything in motion by bringing in the sun, the moon, and the planets, and the stars, and sets all the cycles of time and all the cycles of the universe spinning in motion. And what we depict in our window are cycles. We see the phases of the moon. We see the seasons of the year. We see the sun and we see the orbits of the planets. And we even see our own earth there among the orbits. And what we see at the bottom part of the window are gears, the gears of the universe that have been set in motion when God brings time into the heavens on the fourth day of creation. On the fifth day of creation, God creates animals from seeds. That is oviparous life. That's life that's born from eggs. So what we depicted in our window for the fifth day of creation are birds in the sky and fish in the sea. On the sixth day of creation, God brings man and woman and all the other mammals into the universe. And what we've depicted on our window are the seven colors of humanity. All the, all the different colors and shades of skin color that humans have, just like all the mammals all have their other colors of skin color. And one of the things about this window, each one of the windows in this series, has a particular color as its palette for the background of the window. And for this window, the palette is red because it's on the sixth day of creation that God brings blood into the universe. The two windows which flank the ark in the Shirley Levine Beit Midrash have as their theme Shabbat. 
they are a compendium of all the days of creation and all the elements of the creation brought in together into one window. Even all the background colors from all the different windows are brought together in the Shabbat windows. And there's the clouds in the sky from the window on the second day of creation. There are the flowers that you see growing in profusion on the third day and the gears of the universe on the fourth day. There's the birds of the sky that flew through the window on the fifth day and on representing the sixth day and humanity are a pair of candles, one in each window, which represent the celebration of the sancti sanctification of the seventh day of creation. Several years after we completed the commission for the Shirley Levine Beit Midrash, we got the opportunity to make a, two more windows in the entry vestibule on the west wall of the sanctuary. And these were going to be very technically challenging windows because they were convex windows. So everything in them had to be bent. Every background piece of glass in these windows had to be bent in the kiln by heating it over a mold that was made to be the express diameter of the window openings that were existing there. And not only that, but the windows were very intricate because what we were depicting there was the tree of life. And so as the students come in through the entry vestibule, they're surrounded and embraced by this pair of trees. Music